okay uh, in the in this tutorial we are going to dig deep and uh, look at the uh, movements specifically methods associated with the individual objects so just to work with that i think i'll go ahead and uh, delete the penguin let me see right click on this and delete okay so now we have uh, just the cow okay see you can even just press here and you can uh, just bring to the middle so you don't need to always go to the add objects view to do that okay let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see the cow better okay because you're not coding right away okay so now we have the cow cow has the properties you can see the cow has the color and uh, let's see change the color oops change color for ground okay we have to select the cow there you go so now change the pink cow that cow looks nice purple cow that looks nice too anyway so let's uh, make it a green cow wow um so those are the properties most of the time we don't mess with the most of the properties just color and opacity is all that matters okay and okay now let's go to methods any object you take typically the methods will be here see all these methods are here and uh, <clears throat> any object basically all the methods are here additionally these methods are special methods so the, this may not exist for uh, all the uh, all the objects these are this additional methods created for individual objects okay let me go back here and change the colors out okay so that you can see better okay let's go back to method and uh, let's see let's uh, see what happens when you just uh, drag this and put it here it doesn't nothing much happens okay so let's try another thing here methods so here are the methods similarly you can right click here and do various methods too so same method list is uh, appearing here except the special methods okay we'll come back to the special methods when you are doing the coding okay so ignore those for now so the met you can right click here you can see methods so move so when you are moving any object can move in six directions why because this is a 3d environment right can go up by half a meter any amount let's see right there okay so you again if you do something like this becomes part of the scene setup see you're not coding it yet but you are just playing with the object here itself so you can not only play with the object in the add objects view here we can do it from here too okay let's right click again look at the methods up down and it can uh, move left move right move forward and move backward so really there are six type of movements right so move left half a meter okay so let's see move forward move forward one meter okay Let's make it move left half a meter. Okay. Okay. So, so that is about the move methods. Now, moving is obviously just, uh, uh, you know, the whole object moves in any one direction. How about uh, turning? Right? All of us can turn, right? Turn right and uh, turn left and turn forward turn backward let's uh, try all those turn right quarter revolution okay so turn right remember this is for the right for the cow not for us right it's in the reference of the cow itself okay and uh, turn turn left goes back to the original position 
and uh, turned right and uh, half revolution meaning uh, um, turned right half revolution is it takes the right path and the right uh, direction to turn around right you can do the same thing using uh, uh, left also right so, so, so which direction you want to use to go turn around that's the idea right okay and turn forward okay so so you can see the uh, half of the cow went to the ground because it's turned forward right just like uh, if you are standing if you do turn forward what will happen same thing right so let's see turn backward okay so those are the basic movements and uh, turns and movements right that's what we have covered and uh, roll um, roll right okay uh, so because you cannot call this move as the turn see uh, so the, this is one of the bit confusing moves i would say um, so this is a turn um, the roll right and roll left is a uh, little bit confusing the good thing is that you don't need to be perfect you know so you, you, you kind of have an idea that these movements are possible if you make a wrong movement you can always fix it you know that's what programming is about you know you can always come back and fix it okay try it out and uh, fix it roll left okay okay so let's uh, see a few more resize let's make it half the size okay and you can click again resize twice big resize resize twice big you know so so you can uh, you can adjust the sizes here too in, in fact need not be even uh, exactly that size you know you can put the other other size you can do 1.2 or something like that too okay so you can use uh, any percentage any number like that okay so those are the really basic movements basic uh, uh, actions and there are few other things you can do you can see the cow says something cow thinks these are all very useful actually when you're uh, programming let me say see it won't do much here so because this is in the scene setup so really it has no effect let me see play sound okay the play sound is still working that's good so okay okay so the anything below this are a lot more complicated ones okay so let me go ahead jump from the jump to the bottom see you can set up the color and all that you can do here so remember we kind of did it from here so there is always several ways to do the same thing okay so okay that cow looks very fancy so so you can uh, you can do these are the very commonly used methods these are all the more uh, to do with the kind of uh, properties you know changing properties right so so you can change the visibility and so on um, even though are not those are not very popularly used okay it's not it's it's quite rare okay so then how about these ones um, these are a little bit more complicated ones you know so and again we use a little bit less of that uh, we can play with those certainly i encourage you guys to play with this and just that i may not cover all of them here okay let's see let me do something here make it smaller and then move the cow to the side i am going to add a new object back to maybe penguin okay so let's uh, move the penguin here and say done okay so now let me go ahead select a cow again remember you can select a cow and right click actually here right here and or you can right click here okay be careful when you right click here sometimes right click it selects a body you know selects a portion of the uh, 
portion of the cow, you know, so strange thing can happen sometimes, you know. So it's a better to select from here if you want to select the whole object. Okay, let's play with the few remaining ones. Cow move to, okay. So cow move to penguin, enter penguin. Let's click on that. So it's basically you can see the, the, the penguin's center point Basically, that's what the cow's center point also moved. So, cow and the uh, penguin are exactly in the same location, effectively. Okay. So, there are times it may we may require that. You know, even though this itself looks kind of funny, right? So, let's go back to cow, and let's see. Um, I want the cow to turn, turn right quadrilateral. Okay. So now, let's see cow and move towards turn to face okay turn to face the camera see because camera is in the front right so you can see it's just a cow is looking right at us right okay turn to face the penguin you always say entire penguin okay how about penguin turn to face Penguin turned to face the cow. So, I know these are all the actions we are doing again as part of scene setup. The good thing is all of them can be part of the code too. That's why we are learning about all this stuff. Okay. Let's see. Penguin. I haven't played with this that much. Um, let's see. Yeah, not much happened there. Um, let's select the cow again. You can play with them certainly. I'll just pinpoint the most important ones, I think. I won't bother to facing other ones. Move towards, move to, we saw. Move towards and move away from, right? So it's like a draw, draw a line to that object. So then it moved towards. Um, the most interesting part is, you know, when the cow is not facing it, that will be interesting. Let's turn it to back, turn right quarter, okay. Now, let's see cow move towards one meter towards the penguin, okay, okay. So, the cow object moves towards the penguin ir irrespective of which way cow is looking, okay. So that's a very important uh, thing, you know. So it's kind of a, it's pulled towards that object, basically. Okay. Other one is uh, uh, pulled away from it, move away from it, right? Um, so that's the reverse action. Okay. Okay. So those are all the really basic movements, uh, basic and advanced movements you saw methods you saw. but most of the time we'll be busy working with this the stop few methods occasionally one or two from the bottom okay or the rest of their list okay um, thank you